Hey everyone, thanks for joining um, this yoga snack series. Um, it's called Trust Yourself. This is the third class in our four part series. And it's a series that's like nonstop movement for about 10 to 12 minutes. So um, I'm gonna meet you at the top of your mat in a forward fold. So we'll just come up to the top third of your mat, take your feet a little wider than your hips, bend your knees, and then press your belly towards your thighs, grab a hold of opposite hand and opposite elbow. And then just take a moment to register how you're feeling as you're showing up on your mat today. Send your weight forward and back to your toes and to your heels from side to side. And then just notice your breath. And don't try to control your breath just yet. Just kind of um, take in what it feels like. It can tell you a lot about where you're holding tension in your body. And then just le let out a sigh. <sighs> Release your arms. Walk your feet a little closer together. Take your hands onto your shins. Press your hands into your shins. You're gonna take a halfway lift to extend the spine and find a little bit of expansion there. And then exhale and fold back down. Step back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna step the feet far back behind you. You'll take your feet as wide as your hips, add a little bend to the knees and poke your butt upwards. Inhale here and then exhale, start to straighten out the legs. They don't have to go all the way straight. You can bend and straighten one leg at a time, just feeling into the hamstrings and the outer edges of your hips. Drop your head, one more inhale. And exhale. Bring your feet a little closer together and then stretch your left leg up and back behind you. Just notice where you feel that sensation in your right hamstring, right hip, low back, big breath in. Exhale, you're going to bend your left knee, squeeze it in towards your chest, and then we're gonna bring the shoulders forward to a three-legged, um, a core plank, and then you're gonna pull your left leg back. So exhale, left knee to chest, squeeze it up and in. Inhale is gonna bring it back. And then this last time, you're gonna bring that left knee into your nose, you'll step the left toes through and look forward. From here, we're gonna to start to stretch the left arm forward, come up onto the ball of the right foot, and then the right arm. Look forward here and come into chair. You're gonna step that right foot to meet your left. Big breath in here and exhale. So this is where we're gonna start heating things up. You're gonna push into that right foot and lift the left knee up to your chest. Start to extend your left leg forward. I want you to keep your hands to heart center and then notice what your back is doing. Is it kind of just like rounding down? Can you press into the hands and draw your shoulder blades together, feeling like you're almost racking your lats towards the midline? And then we're gonna pull the left leg back, coming into warrior three. Extend through the crown of your head, big breath in. Exhale, back to chair, sink into the hips. Let's do that again, push into the right foot, elevate your left knee to your chest, extend the left leg forward, lift out of the waist. Now pushing into the hands, pull that left leg back behind you, lift, from the left heel all the way to the left glute. One more time, sink into your chair. <sighs> Lift your left knee to your chest, extend the left leg forward. Now pull, pull, pull that left leg back behind you. You're gonna step back to crescent lunge. So this is a trust exercise in yourself. Bend into the right knee, land the left toes behind you, and then stretch your arms up. Big breath in here, like, I got this, inhale. <sighs> Exhale, hands come down to the ground. We're gonna pull that right leg back, coming into downward facing dog. Huge breath in through your nose here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll out to your high plank, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Lower your knees down, untuck your toes, lie down onto your belly, hug your elbows in by your sides. Inhale, loop your shoulders back, lift up baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, press yourself up to high plank. Bring it all the way back, downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath. Let it go. Feet as wide as your hips. Inhale, lift your right leg high behind you. So three rounds of core plank. We're gonna work on bringing that knee in towards the chest to create space to bring the right foot forward. That's the idea here. Pull your right leg back. 
right knee to chest, squeeze it up and in. Bring it back. Now, little tip, we're gonna bring that right knee in, 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 and then lift your left thigh higher to make a little bit more space to step the right toes through. And we wanna hug into the midline first. So push into the right heel, push into the left big toe mound, stretch your right arm forward, then your left. Now from here, we come into chair pose. That left foot sneaks forward, hands to heart center. Push your hands into another, lift your chest. Now you're gonna push into that left foot and elevate your right knee. Stretch your right leg forward. Pull that right leg back behind you. And if you're like me, maybe you're quivering a little bit. That's okay. Place your right foot down back into chair. We get to do that again. Inhale, knee to chest. Extend the leg forward. Bring it back. Lift from the right heel, right glute. Sink down into chair. You've got one more. Inhale, one more round. <laughs> Extend. Pull back. Warrior three. Now from here, we get to add on. You're going to step back to crescent lunge. Bend into your left knee. Land the right foot back down behind you. Now push into both feet. Start to extend your arms upward. Lift out of the right hip. Big breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the ground. That left leg's gonna step back to meet the right. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll out to your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Huge breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, one time we're gonna step that left foot through. So we work on squeezing the knee into the chest, squeeze it in, squeeze it in, and step the left toes through. Stretch your left arm forward. Then your right. Bring it into chair. Inhale, left knee comes up. Now this time, exhale, left ankle over your right thigh. Sink back into your standing pigeon. So when we come into standing pigeon, left ankles flex, we're gonna push the butt back. It's gonna wake up some things on the left side of the hip. Big breath in. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull back, warrior three. Huge breath in through your nose here. Exhale, crescent lunge, stretch up. Now you're gonna add a little back bend this time. So the back bend does not come from the lower back, it comes from the upper back. So we're gonna draw the shoulder blades together, lift the sternum, and then stretch the arms up and then back. Huge breath in here. Exhale, hands come down to the ground. Now we'll start to straighten out that right leg. And if you're like, that's not happening for me, Shell, that's okay. Walk your left foot in a little bit. Maybe you have some hands, maybe you have a couple blocks, you place your hands on blocks. Some of you are gonna be like, I need more. So maybe you walk your hands forward and we pull the right hip back. I want you to take one more big breath in here. And then exhale, fold over your right leg. Inhale, look forward. Step your left foot back. Now pull your right ankle to your left thigh. Huge breath in. And a big breath out. Roll out to your high plank. Keep your ankle on your thigh. Now you could be like right here and that's enough. Or some of you are like, I want a little bit more of a challenge. We're gonna roll to the knife edge of the left foot. You're gonna keep that right ankle stacked on top of the le uh, left thigh and then open the chest. Huge breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot back. Inhale, roll out to your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees down. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, we pull it back. Downward facing dog, final flow. Here we go. Inhale, right leg high. Now come up onto your left big toe mound so you can get a little bit more space. Exhale, right knee to chest, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now lift up high into that left big toe mount to step the right foot forward. Inhale, extend, right arm forward, and then left. So we're reaching, 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 and then that left foot is gonna sneak in to meet the right, come into your chair pose, sink into the hips. Inhale, start to shift weight into your left foot, bring your right knee up to your chest. Now you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left thigh, sink down. Hands to heart center, big breath in, and exhale. Inhale, come on up, extend that right leg forward. 
Now pull your right leg back into that warrior three. Huge breath in. Exhale, right foot lands behind you. Inhale, rise up, and then from here we can add that back bend from the upper back. So we're lifting the sternum, leaning back, staying strong in the hips and the glutes. Big, bright breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the ground. Straighten out your left leg. And then might, you might have to walk your right foot in a little bit there. So you gl glide it in and then push into your right foot. Swivel that left hip back as the right hip glides forward and then we fold down. Some of you might want a little bit more. You walk the hands forward and then we fold. Big breath in. And let it go. Walk your hands under your shoulders, halfway lift. And then from here, that right foot's gonna step back. Hands come down onto the ground, left ankle to right thigh. Now this could be enough. Or we glide forward to the high plank, roll to the knife edge of your right foot, and stretch the left arm up. Huge breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll out high plank. Exhale, knees down, lie down, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, bring it all the way back. Downward facing dog. Huge breath in. And breath out. Lower your knees down to the ground. Take them as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Sink into child's pose. One more breath here. And let it go. And if it feels so good to stay here, stay right here. Otherwise, you can start to press your way up to a seat. Thank you guys so much for joining me in class three of our four part series, Trust Yourself. Um, I will see you next week. Thank you and love you all. Have a good one.